so I'm kind of learning as I make these videos. I gotta make sure it's recording because this little clicker thing only seems to work some of the time. So hey, I finally figured out how to use this microphone with the phone. It's this little guy that comes with your Pixel phone or what, probably Samsung or whatever. What was weird is I had one that looked just like this, but it was for, I guess it's just for audio. I, so, but this works uh, for, for sound. And just so you know, there's a little sound uh, uh, app that you can download from Google. I think it's called the Google Sound app. And that's how you can test out the microphone. You just give it a couple of taps and you'll see the, the wave figures and that, that makes sure your microphone is working. So enough on the, uh, the technical stuff as, as we figured it out. Actually, the last video, if you saw, I actually was able to cut some stuff out of it. Um, so I'm kind of learning as I go. Like I said, this is an idiot's uh, backpacking adventure. So let's get more back into the gear. Uh, first thing was we kind of talked, hinted on the food. I mean, look at this expiration date, 550. I mean, I, you know, I'm sure maybe it's not, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, you read the nutrition facts, uh, lots of calories. Uh, you know, I'd like to think that, hey, that keeps longer than an MRE. Uh, I, and I had MREs, I threw them away after the war uh, because I never ate them I and mean, I should have. I mean, I don't, I don't dislike MREs. I mean, I was one of the guys who got fatter during the war, not skinnier. Uh, next thing is you're gonna need, uh, you know, in addition to the cooking uh, kits, is these, this is the, uh, your canteen cup. Now this is this is the one I haven't painted black. I got another one that I'll be taking with me. Um, you know, this is what you put the hot water in for your tea uh, or your um, emergency with uh, your Everclear. Uh, you know, and you always every every item in your backpack you load up with something. This is something new. Uh, that was camping with Steve, he showed me this. Now because I would never carry this in a backpack. It's you know, it's added weight. It's called Thermosel uh, Backpacker. Um, you just put it on your propane and supposedly it's going to get rid of the bugs. Uh, I haven't shredded out, I, 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 but I'm going to pack it this time because I really think the bugs are going to be really bad and it seemed to work for him. He was eating at a table and uh, like I said, so that's loaded in, in the cup. Let's set that off to the side. Uh, you know, I talked about the, uh, the water shoes. Um, these are heavy, you know, and I tried using gaiters, uh, but you know, what you find out is if you get into a situation like I did where you you're, you got logs underneath the water and rocks and, you know, maybe even broken glass and stuff, um, you need a durable shoe to, to get across that water. And, of course, <clears throat> you know, these are, you don't want to get your boots wet and your socks wet because then you're, you're screwed as far as backpacking. I mean, the dogs, you know, they're going to, you know, they're not going to like being wet and uh, eventually you're going to get blisters or skin rubbed off. So you got to have something. Um, you know, there, there's a lighter variety. I had another pair of these. I, I don't know where they are. They're, they're lighter than these, but hey, these are these are what I'm telling you you're looking for. The other thing is, uh, you know, I don't have it in here now, but, uh, you know, I have a camping, what I call a camping tent. It's a two-person builder, four-season tent. Uh, perfect for, you know, getting a campsite and just setting up because, man, you know, when you're, when you're out camping, you don't want to be in a backpacking tent. Now, this is a backpacking tent. Um, you know, and with your backpacking tent, of course, you know, I, I've seen sealed it. I've uh, treated the fabric, uh, and then, of course, I've UV protected. You can re find all these products on Amazon, at least for now. I'm telling you, things are getting kind of crazy out there. You can't find a lot of this stuff. That's why uh, it's taken me so long to plan this doggone trip. You know, and in here, you're going to put your, your ground cloth, which is actually a, it's a poncho. Um, so then, you, you know, once again, dual purpose, right? You got a poncho with your tent. You use that for your ground cover, and of course, there's four extra little uh, lightweight uh, um, titanium tent pegs. Yeah, they cost a lot. They're extra, but you know, it's worth it. Every every ounce counts. I mean, every gram counts. Um, this is a water filter. You know, I, I watch all this, these stupid, stupid. You know, oh, make sure you have water in case you know the there's a hurricane that comes through and. You know, you're going to need water and everybody goes out and buys all these plastic water bottles and they spend the gosh dang fortune and, you know, and I'm just looking at it like, well, guess what, man, you, you don't need an emergency water supply. I mean, what I have is I got a 50 gallon uh, rain barrel connected to my downspout that I use to water the plants when 
we're in the dry season here in Florida, and uh, if you get you a good backpack and water filter, um, this is three micron. Uh, I think chitin, uh, chitin, I guess that's how you pronounce it. This is a chitin pocket uh, filter, Red Cross certified. I'm telling you, man, three microns. I can pump money, mud, I mean, pump water from a mud puddle with this thing, and it's t totally drinkable. Uh, now it comes with this little bag, you know, you got to keep the end filter, you know, totally decontaminated So, you know, you always keep it bagged in here uh, And then I have this nice little pouch right here And then of course if the filter gets dirty, you got to have a little scrub cloth So you just scrub it off uh, Most of the time I, I haven't yet to be on a trip yet where I had to scrub it Of course I scrubbed it when I got home And, and then of course you take it apart and everything's got to get dry You want to put some Vaseline on the uh, on the tubing, make sure, you know, you or, or just silicon spray it so that uh, it preserves it so a couple of years from now when you need it. But I mean, you could stick this in your rain barrel outside and just pump water during a hurricane, you know? What do you, what do you need to buy these, these gallon jugs and store them all over the house? Stupid, it's just stupid. And nobody, nobody talks about that. Nobody recommends it. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. This is kind of my toothbrush kit. You know, you don't want, you're not, like I said, every ounce counts, you know, little, little thing of dental floss. Um, this is latex gloves, a little bit of soap down in there, so if I'm uh, near a nice uh, nice stream that doesn't look too dirty, I might get in there and use a little soap. This is uh, body, glide, body Glide. Now, most of the time you don't need this unless the temperature is really hot. And if you get some chafing, you know, when you're hiking eight miles, you might get some chafing. And, uh, you know, you got to throw this on. Uh, otherwise, you know, that area is just going to get worse and worse. And, yeah, it's a little out of weight, but... You know, when you need it, you need it. Uh, and then, of course, the toothpaste and toothbrush. You know, I got one of these little toothbrushes. You know, you're not going to carry a whole size tooth, but a lot of people saw them off. You know, why you can just have this. Plus, I like the fact that it fits into a nice little plastic case to keep this san sanitary. And then, of course, you want the little, the little toothbrush. And see, you know, another thing that, you know, I hadn't talked about is when you get out there, uh, squirrels, uh, chipmunks, birds, you know, they see all this stuff, and you don't want it laying out all over the place because they'll come in and they'll swoop right in, man. They'll grab anything that kind of glitters or whatever, and then, you know, you, you try chasing a squirrel through the woods, I don't think you're going to do very good. Uh, funny, funny story on that. <laughs> I, here I am at Isle Royale. I'm getting ready to do a 10-day packing trip on the, the most difficult trail, probably, probably one of the most difficult trails in the country. Um, and uh, go in to, you know, check in with the rangers because they want to know your schedule and all. I mean, I mean come on. Are you going to really keep your schedule? Because I'm going to tell you, after you've hiked three, four days, man, you, you just decide, okay, you know what? I'm going to hole up here for a day and just, uh, you, know, you know, make sure you got enough supplies, of course. But, you know, yeah, sometimes you got to just take a down day and you don't know when that's going to happen. Or if it rains. You know, I don't like backpacking in the rain. So if it's, it's, it's pouring down rain out there, you think I'm going to get out and break camp and then hike on to the next site? No, man, just, just stay there. I know people, some people have jobs and you gotta get back, but whatever, you know. It's, so here's, here's a headlamp. Um, you know, don't spare any money on these. Go to REI or, or one of the other vendors, you know, and you want the, the red so that at night you're not running your night vision. So when you gotta get out of the tent and go, uh, go to the bathroom or whatever, you know, you, you want the red option, uh, you know, get the beam where it can, you know, literally, I mean, when you're out and it's all dark, you can see for like a mile with these things. These new LED headlamps are fantastic. And then you want to put the lithium batteries in here. They last uh, longer. If it's a long trip, you know, for this trip, I'm just using the rechargeable batteries. Um, so, you know, I wasn't going to, because the lithium batteries are pretty expensive. But you And you want to spend the extra money to get the long life lithium batteries uh, for, for stuff like that. And uh, so then, of course, you always got to have compass, you know, whatever compass you want. Um, you know, most of the time you're on a trail, you don't need a compass. Uh, but I'll, one particular trip, uh, I got on the trail and, and I couldn't tell <laughs> the trail between, well, I, well, in the Manong, you know, of course, I got lost. I got completely off the trail. So sometimes, you know, you got to, you're going to have to take a vector and try to work your way back to where you think the trail is. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I. I usually bring a compass with me, not knowing what to expect. Um, this is a clothing bag, okay, waterproof. Uh, you can go with a nylon bag. If you're not expecting to be crossing any rivers uh, like I am, or, uh, you know, maybe uh, it's just not the rainy season, and, or if it does rain and you can get that poncho over the backpack, most likely everything in there is going to stay pretty dry. You know, this is a little added weight. 
uh, for this uh, waterproof. But um, you know, but if you do, if, 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 they, if your clothing gets wet, you know, yeah, you just gotta hang it up. It's not that big a deal. Um, I didn't go into this last time. We did talk about the bandana, but uh, merino wool, man, merino wool, merino wool, merino wool. Spend the money, man. This is this is called smart wool. Getting real hard to find, real hard to purchase. But uh, I'm gonna tell you what, this stuff is great. Um, I will say this, I had some, the elastic went bad after about eight years, so, you know, elastic in here doesn't last, but this stuff, it wicks the moisture away, it keeps you warm in the, in the cold weather, and uh, cool in the hot weather, and I don't know, it's like magic clothing, that's, uh, that's the only thing I can say. The other thing, you, you know, these are not good for, for, like I said, crossing, you know, streams where you don't know if there's broken glass or logs or rocks or whatever, um, but if you've got a nice sandy beach, you know, once again, I don't. I still don't. I don't trust anywhere because you know all it takes is an aluminum can or a, or a piece of glass or even just a sharp rock, man. So this these offer enough protection if you just want to get out in the water on a sandy beach. You know, these are my booties from when I used to uh, do some scuba diving. Um, so you don't have to have those. And by the way, you want to hit these with um, uh, well, Armor All, but it's not Armor All. I can't remember what it's called, but anything to preserve rubber and neoprene. You know, when you're done, you always always hit them with that. I hit them this time before the trip, you know, because as you put this stuff away, it sits out in the garage, and you know, once your next trip, you probably I only go maybe once a year. Uh, merino wool shirts. Uh, this is a nice big one. Merino wool. I don't know what they're doing. Who's making these? Uh, they're coming really small. I mean, an extra large is like a medium. So you know, this is a double extra large, and it, it fits me just perfect. And do I look like? I mean, I I know I'm fat. But I mean, do I look like a double extra large? I mean, usually a double extra large is like out to here. So, um, so I finally bought that. Unfortunately, I bought this extra large, uh, but that's okay. It'll be pretty tight fitting when I'm hiking. So I'm figuring that this will be okay when I'm hiking, but it, this, I would never wear this around. But I, this is what I call my sight shirt. I'll probably be wearing this for comfort when I get to wherever it is that I'm going. Uh, then the other thing you're gonna need is a floppy hat, man. These things are mandatory, mandatory, mandatory. Lots of ventilation, they're nice and cool. Uh, the, the, the story I had behind the floppy hat was uh, one trip to Isle Royal, uh, the mosquitoes, the mosquitoes were just, I mean, they were out by the thousands, even through the bug netting they were getting me, which is, which is the first time ever, you know? I, it, and, and so I couldn't get my shoes off. Every, every couple miles I changed my socks and I hang the socks on the back of the, the backpack with, uh, you know, um, safety pins and by the way safety pins are good for your clothesline like you know first video I had the clothesline sitting out here but uh, yeah I'd, I'd use this and as long as you can get them male mosquitoes away so they're not buzzing you um, the females can't find you and then you know I had maybe a minute minute and a half two minutes to get the shoes off put the uh, put the socks on and try to button everything up so the mosquitoes couldn't eat me alive that was a, that was a horrible trip in some ways it was great in many others I mean every trip is great and horrible you never know what you're going to run into. Um, this is what I call the, the day one bag. Uh, you know, usually uh, when you go backpacking, you're going to want to get a hotel room. Um, the day before, you're going to set out on your journey. Uh, you get in that hotel and you, you pack your backpack up to the hotel room. You go through everything one last time. You know, if there's a, you might find something like, oh man, I better, I better hit the, uh, the country store down the road and pick something up, you know, and blah, blah, blah. You know, so it's always good to, to go through it, but you know, this trip, hey, no hell to hotel rooms, COVID-19, man, I'm staying the hell away. So uh, with, with the day one bag kind of changed, uh, this is what you're gonna wear day one, you know? So this is kind of a, uh, a kinetic jacket, it's for cold weather, and you know, believe me, up in the mountains and stuff where I'm gonna be camping, you know, sometimes it's gonna get kind of chilly. So this is this is a really good jacket, Go Light. Go Light makes it, I highly recommend them. Um, boots. Once again, water treatments. You're gonna you're gonna um, you're gonna hit them with the leather uh, protectant, and then you're gonna um, hit them with the uh, water resistant uh, spray. And uh, these things, I mean, the water will just bead up on them. You can't even see it. Most of the time, I don't wear boots when I'm hiking, but this trip I probably will because of the snake problem, and I think that it's going to be grown up so bad you're not going to be able to see where you're stepping. You're the, you know, the grass and stuff's going to be like this high, so who knows what's underneath there, and so I'm probably going to be wearing the boots, but if you don't wear boots, what's better to wear is these, um, these shoes. These, these are hikers. I tell you what, I've hiked 10, 15 miles in these when I was younger, 
never a blister. Never a blister. Blister, yes. Blister, yes. Blister, no. Um, New Balance made these because I got a wide foot. But, I um, mean, look at that traction right there. I've hiked a lot of miles in these, and they're still, like, perfect. I mean, these are... You know, sometimes you buy lifetime purchases, and that's what these are. These are lifetime purchases. I, I don't ever plan to buy hiking shoes ever again, and I've used them a lot of times, you know, just even locally for hiking. Um, last thing here is the backpack. Uh, we're going to put in this video. Uh, you know, in here, I had this custom made by Mikkel back, Backpacks. I don't know if they're still in business, but boy, if they are, they're the best of the best of the best. Um, built me a pouch in here. This this is full of water. This is my, my water... Uh, um, I want to say three liter or four liter uh, right here and so the pouch keeps it protected um, and then of course this connects down it's got a magnet on it so that I can fasten it right here to a metal clip so then when I want to drink as I'm walking you know you just throw it right in um, this backpack came specially made it's got it's got pouches on the side you know once again backpack once in a lifetime purchase you know so you want to get the very best that you can find because you never you're never going to buy another one um, and lots of and the other thing you look for is lots and lots of pockets. Of course, you're going to keep your your poncho up top. Get caught in the storm, man. You're going to pull that out, throw it over top. Then get the extra long poncho. Okay? They make ponchos and they're like normal. I mean, they're normal if you, you know, you're not going to be able to wear this because uh, it it droops down and it hangs on the ground. But when you're throwing it over the backpack, you know, you need the extra long. And a lot of people they don't understand that. They don't know. Uh, then, of course, you know, like, like Sid on the backpack, look at here, it's got an extra pocket. So when you're packing it, you know, I can just throw the stuff right here in the bottom. Uh, here's that uh, silk blanket I was telling you about in the other video. I mean, look at that. It doesn't weigh nothing. And, uh, I mean, five degrees in a cold day and a nice blanket at night on a hot day. Uh, the other thing uh, I can always carry with me, you know, I mean, a lot of times you're not allowed to carry a gun. Guns are heavy, man. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you shoot a grizzly. More than likely, he's going to eat you before <laughs> you might hit him four or five times. What are you going to carry? A long gun? I mean, I don't know. But I bring this bear spray. Never had to use it. Hope to God I never do. Um, I'm hoping it'll work. I mean, I know that I'd run like hell if I got it in my eyes. Uh, so, you know, um, I guess that's about it. Uh, I don't know where my clicker is. Never seems to work, but I'll try it and then I'll just edit it out again. Talk to y'all later.